I don't want to replace beauty trends. I just want to make them bigger. Beauty is when you see something different. You don't walk down the street and you instantly see the same thing over and over again and you're like, oh my God, that one, that looks like everything else is just so beautiful. It's because it's just different and different is beautiful, no matter if you're following trends or not. There's so much beauty in diversity. I'm originally from Washington, D.C. It's a bit more of a conservative area. My whole life I grew up having to believe in myself because I had so many people telling me, you are ugly, your outfits are weird, take them off. And so that has made me such a stubborn, strong individual. When I was younger, I just wanted to look like my mom. I looked nothing like my mom when I was younger. I was chubby. I have a unibrow. It was like a blonde, thick unibrow. Blonde, like straight across. I used to wax them to get like a straight brow. And then I would leave them and I would get my unibrow back and I'd have my unibrow for like three weeks and then I would tint my unibrow blue. And then I would pluck my unibrow. Luckily for me, it would always grow back. <laughs> My mom was raised in London, so I think that's where I've sort of fallen in love with the city. And I decided to move here about two months ago. A new city, a new chapter for sure, so this is really cool for me. Coming here, I feel like I just really fit in because there's so many different people that you meet every day. My love of going to thrift stores and vintage stores emerged from when I was about, I'd say 10. So I really discovered my style in a store where a lot of people would not go to. And that was the beauty in it, was finding things that were just so out there. In high school, I was like 16, 15 years old, and I would be in a full leather outfit. This vest is like my pride and joy. I made it when I was 13. I put all of the spikes on it. And the fringe is kind of cool too. I, I've told my parents I want to be buried in this, so. I loved latex. I used to wear like really ripped jeans, like completely shredded, so you could barely even tell they were pants. I just loved expressing myself through my style so much. No local average person who was just, you know, in my local town could change me because I had bigger dreams for myself. Instagram is a place I really firmly believe that you can discover some amazing people and you can be discovered if you're a, you know, small artist or just someone who wants to experiment with your style or wants to become somebody. It can be hard for sure. The negative comments that I get are basically because, you know, there's not many people that look like me online. So again, if you're different, you have to expect people to treat you differently. And I do find that when people follow me, they find me because of my eyebrows, but they stay because of what I have to say. I started the Unibrow Movement as just as like an online community, basically for people like me, like-minded individuals. They don't have to have unibrows, obviously. It could be, you know, your freckles. It could be your hair color. It could be your disability. It could be anything, your body type, everything and anything. It's just supposed to be a place where people can remind themselves that there are people out there that are just as cool as them. So this is the time to be yourself. I am Sofia Haji Pantelli. I have a unibrow and I am magnifique. It's <laughs> chic, no? It's Versace. Sad. Les coiffés dans chapeau. C'est une belle personne. C'est le téléphone de maths, ça? Par la grève, absolument très belle.